Hi, this is Leah with Handwoven by Leah. Today I'm going to be showing you the cutting instructions for a pattern called Snail Trails Al Fresco. This is different than the sea swept pattern, but they're similar. They just look a bit different. So this is a picture of what the pattern looks like. So for those of you who have this pattern, if you can get it out, it will be helpful because we're going to, I'm going to show you some things that you're going to have to mark on the pattern because at one point on the construction um, instructions, it tells you for your print pattern, you need um, the A1 triangles, but nowhere does it tell you that you need to cut those. And it's just because they've missed out putting um, some notes on their cutting instructions. So first of all, um, we're going to cut the, it tells you to cut your print strips. So what I've done, you need 26 inch wide strips. You can have 20 different colors if you want. What I did, I had 10 different batics. So I have cut out um, two six inch wide with the fabric strips from each batik to give me 20 six inch wide strips. Now on most batics, you can't tell the front from the back. So that's not really important. With these, I think because they're cheaper batics that I purchased, um, you can tell the front and the back. So you just have to look at yours and see what kind you have. So anyway, what we're going to do to start with, it says to use the cutting diagram to cut out each of the strips as shown. So let's look at this first right here. This is the cutting diagram here for your print strips. Now what I want you to write on this um, pattern under the five and a half inch square that has a line drawn diagonally through it right underneath that you're going to write b-2 and then over to the four and a half inch square right under that you're going to write b-1 right next to that three and a half inch square you're going to write a-2 and then the four three inch squares, you're going to write A-1. So those are going to be what you want to put on a um, piece of paper in your plastic bag with your cutouts. So this one just has two inches because it doesn't have one of those edited numbers that I just gave you with the letter and the number. So if it doesn't have the edit that I gave you, you'll just write the size of the square, put it in a bag, put your squares in the bag. But if it has those edits that I told you, then you really need to write B-2 and put that in your bag because that's what you're going to need to know in order to know what you need to grab next. So the first thing that we're going to do, it the pattern basically wants you to open this up to full length and start cutting but we're going to take we're going to do it a little bit different so we don't have to make as many cuts so for your four and a half by eight and a half inch triangles you need two of those so we might as well cut that while this is folded so that's the first thing that we're going to cut so i'm going to go eight and a half inch eight and a half inches over from the side put my rulers in place and then I'm going to cut that. Now this needs to be four and a half inches wide so I'm going to rotate it and cut this at four and a half inches wide. So you have these two rectangles and there's no notes under that so you're just going to put four and a half by eight and a half inch on your piece of paper and put it in a plastic bag. The next one we want to cut before we open it up are your three inch ones because we need four of those. So we're just going to cut three inches over and since this is six inches in width 
we just need to make one cut widthwise and you'll have it so and I should have cut I shouldn't have cut towards my body I'm sorry you should always cut away from yourself so turn it and then cut another three inches so now because I had that folded I have four pieces which is what I need for that for that one so you're gonna put that in a bag and you're gonna have that one labeled a dash one for the rest of it we're gonna open this up to cut the rest of it and I'm not going to go through and cut each piece right here with you guys but what you're going to want to do is you come back to the beginning you're going to cut a five and a half inch square so cut a five and a half inch square out and then there's a dotted line that's going through the center well let's do this just this one so five and a half inches so we'll come over five and a half inches And then we need to make it five and a half inches the other direction as well. And then because it has that dotted line going through the center of it, we're going to cut this in half on the diagonal, corner to corner. That's going to give you two triangles. So in your bag, you're going to list this one as B-2 and put it in your bag. Then you're going to cut out two and a half inch squares. You need two of those. Then you're going to cut out your four and a half inch square and then cut it on the diagonal and label that B-1. Then you're going to cut out your three and a half inch square and cut it on the diagonal and that's going to be A-2. We already did the three inches, so then the last thing you're gonna cut are the two inch squares. Now when you cut the two inch squares, because this is six inches wide, you only need two pieces, but because it's six inches, it comes out exactly three pieces at two inches. I just keep that third piece instead of throwing it away because you never know, I might need it for some reason. I might mess up and I might need it, so I just keep it and put it in the bag. It's not gonna be a problem if you have extra. So that's um, what you do for cutting that. Now the next thing that we're going to do, we're not done with these triangles or these rectangles that we cut out. The four and a half by eight and a half, we're gonna come back to them now. Because we have to cut them in a, tri a, a diamond shape. Let me show you uh, the, what we're cutting. I've already made some of these to make sure they work okay. So this is one square that we're gonna be making. This is another square we're gonna be making. So this is where your diamond goes. And then this is the snail trail um, block. So those are the three blocks that we'll be making and sewing together to make the quilt. So we need to make a diamond out of this four and a half by eight inch piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold this in half this direction. And this is where those rulers that you needed um, come into play. So you need actually two rulers for this pattern. Now I personally think that this would have been so much easier if we would have done this foundation piecing but I don't have the directions for foundation piecing on it and I'm not um, taking the time to sort that out. So there's two rulers you need and you need to keep your instruction cards that come with the rulers. So you need the square on square eight inch trim tool. This is one ruler and it's by Creative Grids. And this is the instructions that go with that one. And then this is the other ruler you need and it's called um, two peaks in one six inch triangle so you have a larger side and a smaller side and these are the instructions that go with that so you need to keep those instructions very important all right so what we're going to do on the flip side of this pattern if you look in here this shows you basically how to cut these diamonds out but it's kind of tiny and hard to see so what we're going to do, you, we folded this in half. You're gonna place your um, ruler, the folds down here, 
this is the raw open edge. So the top of the ruler is going to go at your raw open edge, and then this white dotted line here goes on your folded edge. That's four and a fourth of an inch. Now the other thing is your piece of fabric is just ever so slightly narrower than what this ruler is, but that's okay. It still works out. So once you have that lined up, what we need to do is cut this side off and cut this side off. So we'll do that. Cut that one off. And cut that off. And now we have our diamond. And just iron this so that you press it so that you get rid of that crease in the middle. And then that'll go in your bag and we'll use it later when we start sewing them together. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Oh, the, the white fabric. So that's what we need to cut next. That's what we need to talk about next. I'm using black fabric, but the pattern calls for white. You can use whatever color that you want to use. So the instructions for cutting the white is, is fine. Um, it says white on white print. So you're going to cut according to the instructions on the pattern. Um, do it exactly like that. But one thing, when you get to, like the first one says, cut six, four and a half inch with the fabric strips, following the directions for the creative grids, two peaks in one ruler, cut 160 long star point triangles, 80 left leaning left, 80 leaning right. All right, so we need this ruler again. But here's the thing, I use Kona fabric, solid fabrics, and with Kona, you don't have a right and wrong side. So I'm gonna cut all of mine the same and just flip them over. So I'm not gonna bother with which way they're leaning. <coughs> because I have fabric that doesn't, that can go either way. If your fabric can't go either way, then you're gonna have to make sure you're gonna cut them right. So basically what you wanna do this time is take the short end of the ruler, you're gonna line it up. Um, so this is open, this is open like this. All right, so we're gonna cut two pieces at one time. So I'm going to put the ruler down along the straight edge and then it's going to go down to four and a half inch strip. And I'm just going to cut this off right here. All right, so that's, that's one. Now we have a problem because now the way that this is cut, I can't put this ruler down and cut again. If I was to line it up like here, and I cut this to be the, uh, the triangle going the opposite direction, it's too little. So what I do is I take my piece that I already cut, and I lay it on top, and I just slide my ruler up right next to it, so I'm gonna have the right size. Um, so you go down to the four and a half. I have my ruler lined up to the edge of this. So it's the right size. If I was to go to the edge over here in this corner, it would be way too small. And so instead of wasting fabric and doing that, that's my workaround for that. So now I actually have a right or left leaning, right leaning triangles, but because of the kind of fabric that I buy, it doesn't matter. So these can both be left leaning or they can both be right leaning either way. So I'm just going to make a pile of them and I'll turn them the direction that I need to turn them at the time that I'm going to sew with them. So that's how you cut that. That was with your four and a half inch um, strip. And then go ahead and cut all, everything else is self-explanatory to cut them out and it tells you and label them exactly how it tells you to label them. So these you're going to have the B-2, B-1, A-2, A-1. You're going to have those again, but it's going to be with the solid 
fabric. So I still want you to label them using that um, numbering system. And is there anything else I need to tell you? I'm just looking at my notes really quick. I think that's it. So thanks for joining me. Um, I hope this was helpful. Again, I'm Leah with Handwoven by Leah. Thanks a lot.